My grandmother. Her grandma. Okay, so if she owes, the loan has to pay off her what she owes left, right? So she owed like 179000 or something like that. Um, so the equity, the home's worth more than that. Um, but the gift of equity would only really work in a situation where you're purchasing it for $240,000 and then she has that extra money to give back to you. But in this case, if you're if you're buying the home, so say you're getting the loan for one hundred seventy nine thousand or one hundred seventy three thousand, whatever it may be, she's got to get it paid enough to pay off her full loan, right? Because that's what she still owes on the the mortgage. I think it was like one seven one seventy nine one eighty or something. So if she's if she still owes that, she has we have to have that much money in order to pay off the previous loan. So. In this case, your loan amount is 173 because we have to have somebody's got to pay for the closing costs, the prepays for taxes, insurance, and the three percent down payment on the home. So yeah, that's where the difference is coming in at eight eight thousand one hundred fifty dollars that needs to be come up with in order to close the loan, and that's because if we wrote a loan for once, you know, exactly the 179, we still have to have all that cost paid for. Um, and we have to pay off whatever she owes on the first mortgage for the property that she has now that you're taking over. So I don't, I don't know where that got lost in this equation, but, um, there's really no, no way the, the equity really, the gift of equity really comes into play other than the fact that once you get this loan, you have a loan for $173,000 for a home that's worth $240,000, which means you could turn around and sell it and get that, that cash. Yeah, I, I, um, like I said, I, I explained all this to him before, so if, I, if this was explained at first, I would have decided to not go through with it or still go through with it and put the money to the side and all that. So she had a uh, signed paper saying that uh, that we was that she was giving me $12,200 $12, a gift of equity and all this other mm-hmm. stuff. So like, I'm, I'm not understanding where did that come in play because like I say, nothing was told to me that I had to come to the table with eight thousand dollars, and still nobody, nobody put in the thing for the first time home buyer or nothing. So I'm, I'm still confused. When was that going to kick in or get talked about or anything? The only, the only place that comes into play is basically that she's gifting you a home that's worth more than what you're paying for it. So the, the, the actual twelve thousand two hundred dollars is not cash that can be applied to the loan. I guess if that's the easiest way to try to break it down is that that money is in equity, meaning you are going to owe a lot less on this property than it's worth. And that's why your loan's only going to be for 173, even though, like I said, if you or your grandmother wanted to sell the property, you can sell the property for 200 and I think 240,000 or whatever it came back at or 220, whatever it came back at as the actual, on the actual appraisal. But as far as cash to close is concerned, for a first time home buyer or any home buyer for that matter, we still need closing costs, the, the, the prepaid for tax and insurance to set up your escrow and then the down payment of 3%. No, all of that is fine. Like I say, I, I understand that the closing costs and, and all this other crazy stuff, right? I understand that, but again, none of this stuff was was, was told. It, it, what was told, that, okay, so what was the, the, the whole point of, of, of me and my grandmother signing the 12.2,000 when uh, um, the twelve thousand two hundred. When there's more equity in the house, like, what's the twelve point point? Uh, the twelve thousand two hundred dollars. What's the point of s- signing that? And, and 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 what was that? There, there was it did nothing, and that's why I don't know if Angela and Autumn were confused, and that's where that's why we're at where we're at. Like, yeah, somebody was very confused, and this is crazy. Yeah, because like, there's there's two different there's two different things that you can do on a purchase. There's gift of equity, which is giving somebody a home for less than it's worth, or gift funds, which I think they were confused that this was gift funds, where that would be where somebody's actually gifting you the money towards the, basically giving you cash so that you can use towards the purchase of the property. So I think there was some confusion on whether that was gift of equity or gift funds. Gift funds would, would have applied here where we could use that for the cost. But gift of equity just means she's selling you the home for less a lot less than what it's worth. So I, I think Angela or Autumn or a combination of the two of them 
maybe led you to led you in the wrong direction there. Um, yeah, because they got me signing that, papers and stuff. To a little bit to see how that happened. I don't like I said. I, I wasn't really brought up to speed on this until well, I got a text end of last week, and then I just logged back in this afternoon finally and got to see it. So um, I, I think you were incorrectly informed. Um, if I had to guess from from those two, because. The gift of act, like I said, gift funds is different. Gift, gift funds is me giving you a check for twelve thousand two hundred dollars. Gift of equity is not going to help you in this situation as far as costs go. Okay, now how do we 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 fix this? Because I didn't put eight thousand dollars to the side, and I've been we've been doing this for a month, month and a half now. And then I'm I'm you know I'm in limbo with with uh, I could have went a whole number route. With buying my other property or something like that, and then I'm I'm stuck and everybody's waiting on me to, to cough up eight thousand now. Yeah, um, I guess I don't know that there's really any any way for our underwriting team or the title company to approve it, other than that money being available one way or the other. So, um, right or wrong on our part, which sounds like wrong, um, I don't know that there's really anything any way to, to get the loan closed, this loan closed without bringing $8,000 to close it. Wow. Shit. Yeah. yeah. Um, obviously not good news and not what you wanted to hear. And I wish, I wish I would have. I mean, yeah. Cause like, the the day, I, I mean, really could have, I really could have had the money if, if, if I would have known, like I say, at the beginning, if, if they wasn't saying this equity stuff and I was going to be able to get the money. So like, my whole see so 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 now I'm 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 like totally lost and I apologize for 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 being lost right but it's like I don't know if me getting a house if I can take the equity out the house eventually to 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 fix the house I was asking her that too could, could I could um any money be bought to um to close it so that I can remodel the house and upgrade the house that was like the whole point of me even trying to get the house and all that so that I can you know, still keep the house because I, I lived there. With the purchase, we don't we don't ever really do loans where we do the loan amount plus money for for fixing it up. I mean that that's usually done. You know, if you buy the house, then you refinance or take an equity loan out for that. Mm -hmm. But for our purchase loans, and, and most banks are not going to lend extra <coughs> as far as the price plus money. If the home is, it's sold as it is. Um, that's just how those transactions are set up. But um, the only other thing, I mean, obviously you didn't have the money set aside. I, I, I do see you have an account with the money there. Obviously that's not what it was for. Right. Um, I, I think that's the only way we could really get this loan done. The way it's set up is to have that cash brought to close, unfortunately. Okay, and what about the uh, the other thing I, that I was saying from the beginning? The first time home buyer that on a, 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 a first time, yeah, the first time home buyer. Um, it's not necessarily the the only real benefit of that is that it's a lower down payment, so it's only three percent rather than five or seven. So that's why you're. I think if somebody told you last week that they said something about twelve thousand to close, well, it's actually eight thousand because it's the first time home buyer. We can do the ninety-three percent down, so it's just a less, a smaller down payment on the home. Okay, so uh, let's say <clears throat> let's say I do get the house. How soon can I can, can I do the the uh, the refinance or whatever um, I can possibly do if I'm able to do it to 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 get money to fix the house? Or is that not possible, or I can't do it so soon? Um, I, I believe there's a six-month seasoning. So six months after you do the purchase loan, then you're able to do a cash-out refund. Um, now, you do have the equity in the home. Like I said, it appraised at 240 So you would have some room there to do a, another transaction to take cash out. But that would have to be done, I believe, six months after this loan is closed. Okay. Um, is there any way we can find out for sure? And then, um, yeah, and um, one other thing. Um, how long? Yeah, the other thing I'll, oh, go ahead. The one thing I wanted to mention though about doing a refinance with cash out though is, you know, just so you're aware, that requires another whole transaction of documents and closing costs and title fees and things like that. So, 
it's not ideal necessarily to do the purchase loan and then do a refinance just because of the cost involved. But um, there are other options rather than a refinance. You could look at doing an equity loan on the home. So you could do an equity, try to do an equity loan through um, a smaller bank or a local bank that would allow you to take cash out against the home as like a second lien. Um, those usually have a far less fees associated with them than just a cash out refinance. Okay, and 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 what's the chances of me being able to, to to do that? Well, we don't. So Wells Fargo, I would be able to tell you for sure. But Wells Fargo, we stopped doing that once the COVID thing started, just because home values fluctuate so much right now. So Wells Fargo doesn't offer one, but I know like if you have a credit union or a smaller bank locally, they can usually go up to go down to about ninety percent loan to value. Um, so in that case, like let's say you put. So I'm just doing some quick math here. If your home was worth 240000 and you did up to 90%, 216 So, yeah, you'd have, I, I think you'd have some room maybe to take fifteen to 20000 out. Uh, how much were you think? How much were you hoping to get? Oh, uh, I, I, I wasn't really, you know, I, I really didn't, didn't have a, a set number because, like I said, I do have my own cash and stuff like that. I just didn't plan for this three days before closing. Sure. Yeah. No. I. I totally get it. I. I. I, I would. I. I know we dropped the ball on this on our end. So I mean, I wish there was a way to. To change that, but legally, there's no way to close a loan without that that cash showing up at closing. So. And um, there's no way to to, yeah, to, to 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 put any any of it on on the back end of of the loan or anything else. <clears throat> no, it has to be. We have to finish all after everything's said and done. The highest loan we can do on this is one hundred seventy-three thousand six hundred thirty dollars, and that's where we have it set. And that allows you to bring the eighty-one fifty to closing to get it down to that that loan amount. All right, and okay, and because this happened, um, how long do I have to to uh, to come up with the money now? <laughs> with the, the oh, like as far as verifying the cash that you have, the, the eight thousand one hundred fifty. Yeah, because to decide if you want. To yeah, no, I, I can um, verify. There's no problem with verifying it, but it's actually now now paying y'all the money. Oh, well, I don't see any rush, I guess, on our end to get the loan closed. I mean, I can leave it open if that's something you wanted to pursue. Um, I know you talked to Trish yesterday about potentially canceling it, but if it's something that you wanted to move forward with, um, I mean, I can hold on to this for a little bit. How long were you, I mean, are we talking days? Are we talking weeks? How long are we? Uh, a few weeks. Um, <clears throat> I can. Uh, I, I guess I'm. I'm going to do like a. Uh, like I say, I got the cash. Y'all can see that I got the cash, but I. I don't like to move. Uh, that type of cash around. So I got. Uh, I got other little stuff that, that I can do that I can come up with it in about a week or two. <clears throat> yeah, I mean, in that, in that case, what I would tell you, Lamont, is just we can just leave this open, and if you want to. I know Angela will be back Friday as well, but if you want to um, just kind of play it by ear, I won't cancel it. I'll just leave it open, and then you can kind of let us know what you're thinking and what you want to do, and I'll just kind of slow play it on our No, 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 no. I, I have to go through with it because, like I say, it's it, it's my grandmother, and I already told her that I'd do it, and it's stressing her out crazy. So um, yeah. I'm definitely go, going to going to do it. Um, I can probably call you out tomorrow or some shit, something and say do it. So... I don't have to run any more credit or or, or anything of that sort, right? No. <laughs> okay. No, no. All right, and the only thing we'll need to do, like I said, at some point, I'll let Autumn know that you want to verify that account or whatever, wherever the funds are before closing, and then we will probably ask you for you know a bank statement or something showing that it's in there before we we schedule closing. Okay, and, and and one last thing, um, so so after we do this, because like I say, I'm. I, I'm not sure what the lady was talking about. Um, my grandmother is not going to owe anything else. No, no. All right, so no, we'll pay that off. Her loan will be paid off in full. That's all I'm really worried about. I, I'm not worried about really getting the money to refinance because I got the money to, to do everything I need to do. I it, it was just a, a, a surprise three days before, you know. Yeah, I, I, I'm totally with you. Like, I that's not really acceptable, and I I, I agree with you. I wish there was just a way for me to wipe that away but there's no way to get rid of the eight thousand dollars that are going to need to be paid by somebody here so um i will 
I will talk to Angela Friday um, if I don't hear from you before then, but I will let Autumn know that you're going to work on getting the cash where it needs to be in, in an account, and then I'll let her figure out what she needs for documentation on that. Um, and then, obviously, the closing that was scheduled uh, for one three. I mean, we may still be able to do that, but I'll just I'll leave it where it is until we hear what we want to do next. Where is it scheduled at? Because they switched it a few times. Well, it's, it's just showing that in the system. And again, I think we were waiting to resolve this before anybody got serious about it and, and called you to set that up. So I don't think it's in, it, it's nothing written in stone at this point. Um, <laughs> we can close whenever we're ready. Okay, listen. So, all right, so can, 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 can you all just pick another title company and set that up and keep the date wherever it's at and then we just go through with it? I just don't want to go through those people because okay. they was too disrespectful for me, right? Yep, totally get it. Let me, uh, let me talk to Autumn and her manager. They're the ones that deal with the title company, and I'll see if they can get somebody else to sign. And then um, I will have Autumn reach out to talk to you about uh, which account we want to we want to look at putting that money in. Okay, that, that's fine. Um, I'm, I'm waiting on y'all, so uh, whenever y'all are ready, I'm ready. Okay. All right, thank you, sir. All right, Lamar, I wish I had better news for you. I appreciate you being patient with me. It's just been a, it's been a crazy week here, so I uh, <laughs> everybody taking time off. So. It's all good, man. I appreciate you, man. Yep. If this is my direct number, if you need anything, just call that 515 number that I just called you on, okay? All right. I appreciate you, man. Thank you. All right. Have a good one. All right, sir.